What is going on guys? My name is Metalive. Welcome to another Black Desert Online video. In this Black Desert Online video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Tamer Awakening weapon. Now, first thing you need to do after is actually accept the Tamer Awakening quest, which is actually called... Um, let's bring it up. I forgot actually what it's called. Um, small Steps. So it's pretty easy to do. Um, is right beside some farm in Velia City. Now, after you go to that location, you're supposed to talk to this woman, and you have to speak with her about some things. Then, after that, you're supposed to actually accept a other quest called Black Aura on the Mountains. After when you go to this location, you're supposed to talk to this giant Howlin, which I don't know his real name, but you're supposed to accept that quest. And after that, he will give you a bunch of other quests that you should actually uh, do, such as going to the location where you're supposed to find some guy with a staff. After when you find the guy with the staff, you're supposed to complete the quest that you've been given to him, and now he gives you another quest that you're supposed to complete, and he gives you four other quests you're gonna have to complete, which there are a bit challenging if you don't have the gear for them. Now after that I'm going to open up the map of the next quest we are going to go. It is the closest quest near the quest keeper which I just pinned right there. So at that quest you have to kill some a couple mobs and those mobs will, gra uh, will drop some items that you're supposed to get. And that's the whole one of the whole quests you're supposed to do. Another one is actually kill three golems. Now these guys can be pretty difficult if you don't have the gear for it since I do have a tri -Liberto. They're not a bit of a pain for me so yeah I'm pretty happy that uh, they didn't kill me right away. Now the other quest we have to do is actually kill a hundred ancient weapons. Now these guys can be a little bit of pain. Even with duo gear, they're somehow bringing down my health a little bit down. They're like worse than Saucens, but I was still managed to kill a hundred of them. Um, you will be fine even with pry gear, so um, just make sure you kill a hundred of them and you complete all of the three quest lines that that guy will give you. Now after that you go back to the location where the guy the, the guy who give you the quest and you complete four quests he gave you. Um, one of the quests was actually um, completing that one quest and after that he gives you a quest where you get your bow staff. So that is pretty awesome. All you have to do is go back to that Helm's guy, um, that giant beast we went to in the first place to get that staff. So after that, you go back to Helen and he gives you some bunch of other questions um, you have to say. And by the way, if you get it wrong, you can like try again right away, like like one second right away. But uh, you have to ask him some questions and once that you complete the quest, and you get your bow staff, which is pretty much amazing. Like you see here, I just uh, completed the quest. And right now, all I have to do is pretty much talk to him. So after that, you got your bow staff. And you have to do some, uh, some couple combos after that. And these combos were a bit embarrassing for me to use because I did not know how to basically uh how to switch the weapon so yeah i'm gonna skip this part it just shows you how to use the weapons um to switch your um awakening weapon you press c so yeah make sure you know that after you complete the uh combos uh he will give you another quest and this quest is actually to kill um a bunch of skeletons after you do your second combos first which uh they're pretty much embarrassing <laughs> as you can see what i'm trying to use um so the game wants you to use your normal weapon and your awakening weapon as combos which i kind of like myself so after when you've done that combo set 
you have to go to the frenzy skeletons and you have to basically kill 10 of them with your bow staff. Now I had uh, difficult problems at this part because my bow staff wasn't enchanted yet so it was pretty much um, a bad choice I did there. I should have brung my uh, blackstone weapons with me to chant my bow staff then do this quest because it will be a lot more easier for me. Um, so after that you come back to Howlin and once you complete the quest that's everything that's the whole awakening quest line you did there and he just simply disappears and you get titled uh, princess of the fallen kingdom so um yeah i hope you like this video guys this is a short awakening video so please come and subscribe gonna be bitchin have a good one